Hello. Greetings from my beautiful Blue Lagoon on Zoom. Today, I want to talk with you guys about fixing your relationship with abundance right now. Fix your abundance with relate your your relationship with abundance right now. And it's so easy. You can fix any problems that you may encounter or believe there if there are problems, right? If you're wondering why you're always broke or you have a lack of love, it could be that you're looking for an abundance of love, even or just friends or whatever it is. But typically when we talk about abundance, it's things, right? It's money, whatever. And so that's kind of going to be where, uh, or the example that I'm going to use in this video. Okay. So I'm going to start with using myself as an example. So I have my coaching program that I offer. And, you know, like sometimes I'll run a sale, for example. And so I advertise for the sale on my YouTube channel. And actually YouTube encourages you to do that actually. And so it's kind of nice. It works for them, it works for me. Well, anyway, um, so every couple of days, I'll post basically a commercial going, hey, I've got this sale, right? And uh, usually those videos, I'll get like five or six people that unsubscribe when they watch that video. And that's fine. I mean, maybe they don't need my help anymore. Maybe they're good and they're wanting to move on. But it occurred to me today, too, you know, I bet you some of those people are upset with me because they have this thought in their mind, in the back of their head about, oh, he's just trying to make money. He doesn't care about helping us. He's just trying to sell his shit. <laughs> and I, guys, that's fine if people do that. But I know that's what they're doing. And I also know that those are the people that probably have a hard time with money. <laughs> but let's face it. And I'm not here to dog those people. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. I just want to point that out to you so that you can fix your relationship with abundance. Yeah, I'm trying to sell my shit on this channel. You betcha. Buy my coaching, guys. Sign up. It's not expensive, right? But I don't have any qualms with that. I don't, I don't have any problem with people that are done with my channel and even um, depart in that type of negative energy. And by the way, I just, I just want to point this out too. Like most of the energy that I put into my total situation with the videos I post on YouTube and my coaching system, a lot of it goes into the YouTube channel, guys. <laughs> Like the free content that I post on this channel is free. And I spend a lot of time on that. It takes a lot of time to make good quality videos like this one. And I don't ask for anything. You know, I mean, there's, I, I get like, a, I think it's something like a half of a cent for every click. I don't even think it's that much. You know, it's not even that much money. So I'm just doing this because I like helping people and I like talking about this stuff. I think this is interesting stuff, wouldn't you say? And that just goes to show you the abundance mindset. You follow me. So I'm doing what I love doing. And I found a way to monetize it so that I can make some money too. And, you know, I've got employees and I've got a contractor also that helped me with the coaching system and the YouTube channel, right? So I'm, I'm spreading that abundance around. I'm creating abundance for other people and I'm sharing it with them. You understand? It's like a total abundance package and you've got to have that mindset. Like 
I'm willing to do all this stuff. I'm giving, I'm always giving my energy as much as I can. I post a YouTube video every single day, you guys, and you don't have to pay me for it. And I love it. I love doing it. And in return, the universe very kindly rewards me with a return of abundance. Abundance flows out of me and then it flows back to me. And so and it, it kind of breaks my heart whenever I see the people. And I know, I know, I know that this is their reason for doing this, because I see people making these types of comments on my YouTube videos all the time. And that's okay. That's okay. I don't, I'm not hurt about it. I'm not like being sensitive about it. I'm just trying to show you the lack mindset so that you don't fall into that trap. I want you guys to have everything you want. And I, so I know why these people are, are unsubscribing from my, like my advertisements. It's that it's, oh, you're just trying to sell your shitty product and you're just trying to make money. And the whole, that whole mindset is based on the belief that money is bad. Money is bad. You're in service. You're supposed to be giving your shit away for free. You know what they call that? Slavery, dude. If you expect me to do work, to labor for you for free with nothing in return, that's called slavery. And don't give me the whole bit about the preacher or Mother Teresa, because guess what? Mother Teresa, wherever she traveled, she traveled for free. She would stay in the nicest churches and monasteries or a hotel if there's nothing else. Clothing, food, everything provided for her. And people go, oh, she's always working for free. She's always in service to people and she never asks for anything. And that is true. She doesn't have to ask for anything, guys. That's how the flow of abundance works. You put out, it gives back. It just comes to you. So no, Mother Teresa did not work for free, guys. Somebody had to pay for her plane ticket. And they were happy to because of the work she did. You cannot, it's not right, guys. It's, it's totally, there's an imbalance. This is why people are having issues with abundance, okay? This is why people are always broke because they expect other people to work for them for, for nothing, for free. You give me something now and don't you ask for anything in return. You're bad if you expect something in return. Do you see how imbalanced that is? You give and you get, and you might not receive from the same places that you give to. So just give to the universe, guys. I'm always putting that energy out there on Facebook, on YouTube. And I even, the cool thing about like owning a business is you can duplicate your efforts, right? So I hired employees and, and I found a contractor who wants to do jobs for me. And I trained them and now I have the system in place. And actually the truth is working is optional for me. Like I don't have to work now, right? Money just comes, it just comes. I did the work once and I duplicated myself when I trained my employees, right? I could just stop. I could just sleep in every day or meditate all day, every day. I don't have to work at all. Everything just runs automatically for me now because I duplicated myself. So the only reason I get up here every day and make a YouTube video for you guys every day is because I like it. That's it. And, you know, maybe that's good energy for me. Maybe I'm working with the universe to continue that flow. But I don't have to. I've got so many YouTube videos that people are still clicking on. You know what I mean? I mean, even when you look at it practically, it's like that. Like, I don't have to do anything now. And I know there's YouTubers who have coaching systems in place and they don't post new YouTube videos at all, guys. And they haven't for a long time. And they're still making money. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like once you, 
once you tip the balance from like, like you're in a negative way, you're in the hole with the flow of abundance in your life and you can push, push, push and like force it into the negative through your actions and your belief about what you're doing. And then you put a system in place and when you release the reins, you've now created that momentum. So it flows back into like a nice, even equilibrium and you're good. There's balance in the energy of abundance and the flow of abundance. And you guys, you really need to get serious about taking a look at your beliefs about abundance. And let me be clear, because I've mentioned this on this channel before too. It's actually not quite accurate to call those beliefs, right? This is important. This is really critical for you to manifest anything in your life. Those are not beliefs. Those are thought patterns. It's conditioning. And it's conditioning that wasn't even put there by you. It was put there by somebody else. Society, your parents, teachers, you know, whatever. Pop culture, television, right? So those are just thought patterns that keep coming up from your subconscious. And you continue to react to them. But there is a you who reacts to them. There's a believer, right? Body, mind, soul. The soul is belief, guys. You don't have to believe your thoughts. And you already know that. You can have old thoughts come up and you're going, yeah, I don't think so. So, you know, it helps. It's, it's a very helpful tool. It's a very useful tool to watch the language that you're using. Those are not beliefs unless you choose to believe them. But there is a you, the soul, who can believe them or not believe them, the thought patterns. So you can change those thought patterns and you can believe new ones. You can create new ones. Every time a negative thought pattern about abundance comes up, like money is bad and it's bad to ask for money. Replace it with a new one. No, money is good and it's okay to ask for money. Right? And, you know, uh, ethics, perhaps, if that's the word, conversation around the act of asking for money is you don't expect anybody to give you anything. It's completely optional. You can try to talk them into it. You know, you can sell your services. Okay, here's why you should buy my services. But you don't have to. And I'll tell you something as an entrepreneur, something I learned a long time ago, it's a numbers game, guys. If you talk to 10 people, you'll probably find one person who's interested. And out of every 10 people who is interested, one person will purchase. It's just a numbers game. And so all that tells you is you have to talk to 100 people. And you can talk to 100 people fast on YouTube, guys. You can do it. Right? And those numbers actually make sense to me. Let's see. I've got 43,000 subscribers. All right, so four times. Wow. Hey, that's pretty good odds, actually. Because I just, I just hit around like 4,000 students that are in my coaching program. And I've got 43,000 subscribers. So that's actually like 10%. That's, that's phenomenal. And you can do that too, guys. You can do that too. So when you're asking for money, you're going to trust the universe. That the universe is going to bring you buyers. And not every person you talk to is going to say, okay. And so over here, you're doing all the giving that you can possibly do. You're giving to your, if for example, you're on YouTube, you're giving to your subscriber base or Facebook or just people in your circle of influence in your life, you're giving them all this information, you're having a dialogue with them all the time about whatever it is you're interested in, and you're answering all their questions, and you're being sincere, and you really want to help them, and so you do that, and you're also giving to the people like when you start to build something like I have. You have people that help you, helpers, right? Employees, partners, whatever, right? And you're giving to them and you're generous, right? So like my employees, I pay them really well, guys. 
And my contractor, I pay, I pay that person really well. And I'm always looking for new ways for them to make money, which really it's in my best interests anyway, because I'm trying to, you know, I've always tried to get things to where I don't have to focus on the button pushing and the mouse clicking and whatever I can do to get that stuff off my plate. It's only going to help the organization because then I can focus on you know, writing a book, shooting quality YouTube videos, all this free content, my scientific research, right? And so I give, 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 give to everybody, to you guys, to my helpers, to my students. Oh my God, my fucking students. Right now I'm doing a reboot of the introduction to the journey course that I, that I offer. And I'm going to do a lot of attraction series, I've got all kinds of things I'm going to roll out, you guys. And it's because I have the time to do it now. That's for my students. They're going to have access to all that stuff. And it's, it's, I don't even charge that much money, right? Like there's other coaches that do what I do that charge like 6,000 fucking dollars. And then they don't even give you anything. They give you crumbs. And I'm not even saying that's wrong, but I don't know. That just doesn't vibe with me, dude. I give. I hook it up back. So that's that leg. So that's what I give out to the universe. Now, what do I get back over here when I try to sell stuff to people and I ask for money? I get money. <laughs> people buy stuff from me and it's not even always the same people that I talk to. Everybody can have all the free stuff that I give. And whoever wants to give me the energy back will give it to me. And I don't look at each person that I give to as being connected to each person that gives back to me. Like all the people that don't give to me are some kind of a problem. Like you guys didn't hold up your end of the deal with karma or something, that's stupid. No, I look at it as the universe guys. It's one thing because that's what it is. I'm giving to the universe and it gives back. I don't keep track of each and every person. I have a relationship with abundance. I have a relationship with the universe, okay? And it's me as the creator that's causing that relationship to be in perfect balance. And I've gotten rid of all the old thought patterns, all the old conditioning about money is bad and it's bad to ask for money. You've got to give and ask for nothing in return. You can give and ask for something in return, but don't expect anything in return. Keep asking, right? Ask every person. And if they say no, go, all right, well, thank you. And if they want to keep talking to you, keep talking to them until they're done, right? You don't judge. You don't, oh, you didn't buy anything for me, so we're done with this conversation. No, you can keep talking to them. And it's because you're whole inside as a person first. You follow me? You don't judge. You don't ask for anything more than what you have to offer. Does that make sense? You're not in a position of need. You're not in a position of lack. You're in a position of giving and receiving. So that's what happens, guys. And the more you give, the more you get. And again, if you find yourself in my position one day and you have the means to hire some people to help you. Do it. 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 Fucking A, do it. It's so worth it, you guys. And I set up my new website like a couple of years ago that's all automated now. Everything's automatic for me, right? Everything's all done for me. Because here's the thing I duplicated myself. Now, I, I did that work one time. I did that work one time over the course of a year, setting up those systems and getting those people put in place. And now they're off doing all that stuff. And I want them to do that. And the money that the business makes, I make sure they get plenty of it so that they keep working and keep doing the stuff that I used to do so that now I can give even more. Because before I was the one doing all the work that my employees and contractor are doing. And if they're doing it for me now, that means I can give more. Whereas before I was only able to give this much because there's only one of me, but I duplicated myself. So now there's people doing that work for me. I can increase 
my sphere. I can give more. I can do more. And that's what I'm doing. And the thing is, guys, I enjoy it. Again, I don't have to. I could just shut down everything that I'm doing and sleep in every day. And I actually did that for a month. Right? I didn't do anything for a month. And the business just kept running. I don't have to do anything. You know? And then I got back to what I do. It's my hobby. It's what I enjoy. Writing books, shooting videos, talking to you guys, doing the live Q&As. I like it. It's fun. It's optional. You know, I'm doing what I like doing. Guys, that's the abundance mindset. There's nothing wrong with it. And let me tell you something, guys. You know, Eckhart Tolle, Eckhart Tolle, right? Eckhart Tolle, the guy is worth like $70 million. And some people say, oh, yeah, he's a spiritual teacher. That's immoral. That's wrong. No, again, again, you got to get out of that mindset. You want to know something? Let me tell you something. Everybody should have $70 million. And you want to know something else? There is enough abundance on this earth for everybody to have $70 million. People say, oh, there's a shortage of water. What are we going to do about getting water? Guys, the earth is like 70% water. What are you talking about? You know how much food people waste? Food right there. Guys, and let's not get into the whole arguing about whose fault it is and how bad that is. Because when you focus on that, you make it real. You make it stronger, right? We should be focusing on how there is abundance for everybody and everybody's going to share it. Focus on that. Focus on what you want and don't focus on what you don't want. I'm telling you guys, everybody should have $70 million. And some people might say, I don't want $70 million and that's okay. But you know what? It should be where you could have $70 million and if you need some money, you could just go get it or resources. It's, it's not even money. It's resources, right? Money is not bad. It's just a medium of exchange. If I have a bushel of carrots, if I'm a carrot farmer and you make shoes and I need some shoes and you go, well, I don't need carrots. You got any chickens? And they go, no, I don't have any chickens. Oh, sorry. I, I, I don't have anything to trade with you then. I'm like, yeah, but I really need some shoes. Oh, sorry, man. Okay, well, I could go find someone that has chickens who needs carrots, and then I trade carrots for chickens and then take the chickens to the shoemaker. I could do that, but that's a big pain in the ass. I know. How about we all just agree to take these, whatever we're going to call money, pieces of paper, electronic credits. I mean, in, in Britain, they used to use sticks of wood. They call them tally sticks. People used to use yak dung or gold and silver, whatever. And I happen to know a lot about the monetary system too, but I'm not making a video about that today. <laughs> but guys, abundance is your birthright. You've got to fix your relationship with abundance. Even if you want to just have a regular job, go do that. Go do that and give, give to that job. I've always done that. Whenever I had a ordinary like clock punching kind of job, right? Like, right? And that's usually what I've done for most of my life. Guys, I worked fucking hard and I worked smart. Working hard is important, but you got to work smart too. Work smarter, not harder. And I was always like, I'm going to overachieve. And it wasn't, it wasn't even like, cause I was trying to show off. It was just, I wanted to do the best job, not a good job. I didn't, I didn't want to do a good job. I don't want to do a good job. I do not. I want to do the best job that I can do. And you know what happened? Immediately, I would always get promoted. It didn't take very long, like a matter of months. And they're like, oh my God, Kurt, here, take this raise, take this promotion. You're the man. That's all I had to do was just believe in what I was doing. 
and put that energy in, put that energy in, give, 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 give. You're clocked in at this job anyway. You're going to be there for eight hours anyway. You might as well give as much as you can, put as much energy into it as you can. It's energy, guys. It's energy. And if wherever you're working, if you're maxed out on the pay scale, if there's you hit a glass ceiling, there's nowhere for you to go, look for another job. It's okay. Don't even get mad at your current employer. Tell them thank you, even if they treated you crudely. Tell them thank you. Don't burn that bridge. Put as much energy out there into the universe as possible, guys. Give, give, give. Whatever it is you're doing to manifest abundance, abundance of love, but don't expect anything in return, especially with love. Don't expect anything in return. If you just give, give, give with no expectation of an outcome, guess what you're going to get? You're going to get a really kick-ass lover that wants to give to you. And you don't have to ask them to. They're just going to. That's how that works, guys. That's how that works, except with your twin. <laughs> I just want to point that out. With your twin flame, it's completely different, <laughs> right? There's only one thing that you need to do with your twin, and that's go in here because your twin is you. I'm talking about a soulmate relationship or something like that. Somebody who is not also you, right? That's how you fix your relationship with abundance. Right now, guys, right now. Do it right now. Don't wait. Don't think about this. I know everything I'm saying makes sense to you guys. Don't wait, guys. Don't wait. Start today. Start with all the negative thought patterns about lack and about money and how you're not good enough and money is bad and you're not supposed to have money and you're not supposed to ask for money. Look at that. That's junk. Look at that story. It's a fucking story. Where did it come from? Self-esteem? Lack of self-confidence? I don't know. You, you work that out, right? Look at that shadow work. Look at that inner child. Where did that shit come from? Where did that story come from? Get rid of it. It's a lie. It's a fucking lie. And you don't have to believe it. You are powerful. You are the universe. You are abundance, literally. You just have to change what you believe. That's it, guys. And the chances are, if you're on this channel, you have the tools to do that already. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.